Okay, today we're looking at another SunnyTech Sterling engine. Now, a Sterling engine is an external combustion engine. An external combustion engine means that we are generating heat outside of the cylinder instead of inside the cylinder as you would if it was an internal combustion engine. Now, in this case, the uh, combustion is going to be a simple lamp. Now, inside that lamp is alcohol. You can see here we're using 91% alcohol, which is... Uh, which is going to do a great job. Um, basically, you want to have at least 90%. You can run lower, but it, the, the flames won't be as hot, and it won't be as fun, it won't be as fast, it won't be as exciting, and we want this thing to light up well. Now, what makes this particular model different is uh, it, it has a twin flywheel. So you have two flywheels, one on the hot side and one on the cold side. So here's how a Sterling engine works in a nutshell. If, you haven't, if you're not familiar with Sterling engines, we light up heat over here. There's a little gas area here, essentially, um, which is that that's going to heat up. That's where the air is going to get hot. And when it gets hot, it's going to push out this piston here, and it's going to push that against this flywheel. And as that flywheel spins, it's going to transfer now to, because there's a, there's a chamber in between these two here, and that's going to push the hot air out and it's going to exchange it with cold air that's going to be pushed by this second flywheel pushing it back in so essentially hot air goes out goes over here gets exchanged with cold air cold air then forces it back and then we have essentially a full cycle so what we're going to do next is we're going to light the candle up with this and the, actually the little lamp and we're going to watch this thing run now with twin flywheel this thing should run really fast let's give it a try Okay, so we just lit the flame, and now we should watch the uh, heat build up inside of the first uh, the first piston. And in a few seconds, it'll actually have enough heat to move on its own. But generally, I like to give it a little nudge. As soon as it gets there, it goes. And look at it go there! Wow, this is a nice smooth transfer of power. You see the piston running over here. See, it's beautiful, beautifully run, and it's it's very stable. Uh, it's starting to vibrate, as you can see. If I don't touch that, it's going to move a little bit, which is kind of common for this sort of thing. And it's really generating a lot of heat, uh, just enough to get that thing going. I'm going to blow it out. <coughs> There we go. <laughs> Dropped the camera that time. <laughs> but there it goes. 